I love my wonderful wavies and my curly and coily coterie. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. I just wanted to hop on really quick today to go over a product that I recently bought. This is one that's not new to the market. It's been around for a little while, but I've seen a lot of other people really like this, so I wanted to give it a try for myself. And that is the SGX or So Long Graphics Curl Power Nourishing Cream. And it does say this is to define and shine for weightless hydration with coconut oil and shea butter. Now, I was interested to see, I wanna see how this goes because it does say weightless hydration and then it has coconut oil and shea butter. Both of those things tend to be pretty heavy, but when looking at the ingredients list, they are pretty much the last ingredients on the list. So hopefully there isn't enough of them to weigh down my hair too much, especially because on the back, it does suggest to define curls and waves. So if it can work for wavy hair, hopefully it's not too heavy. And on the note of the ingredients, I did want to comment on this as well. It does have a wax in it. So if you are very strict curly girl method, this is probably not curly girl method approved because wax does tend to work kind of like a silicone. It seals your hair and it can build up over time. So unless you're using a clarifying shampoo pretty regularly, this can cause buildup and it can, your hair can kind of struggle with this in it. But I clarify pretty regularly at least once a month, if not two times a month, depending on what kind of products I've been using and if it needs it or not. So I'm not too concerned about the wax in this product. Um, and it does also say on the back here that it is free of parabens, phthalates. It is vegan friendly and it is not tested on animals. All fantastic things. I'm excited to give this a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower really quick, wash my hair and I will be back to kind of blaze through the styling process. I don't want to spend too much time on it because I do have previous videos about it. I will link my styling video up above for you if you have not seen that. And if you want to see any future styling videos or future product reviews, like and subscribe for more content like this. I will be right back. My hair is washed, conditioned, and detangled, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this process. I'm going to actually start with my curl cream. I'm not going to use a leave-in conditioner just because I want to really just see how this curl cream itself works because I know a lot of people don't necessarily want to do a ton of different steps. So leave out the leave-in conditioner and we're just going to go in with this curl cream. So here's what it looks like. It's a very light scent. It doesn't have a very strong scent to it. It's kind of just a very sweet, light, perfumey scent. And it's not, it's not very runny. It's a pretty thick cream, but it's also not as thick as a butter. So that's definitely good. It does feel very light. You can see on my hand if I smear it. So I'm gonna go in with about that much on one side and then I'm just gonna go ahead and style my hair as normal. I am gonna go ahead and go in with just a typical gel that I've used in the past that I know works pretty well, so we aren't testing the gel at the same time. The only product that we're getting a new impression on is this cream. So I'm going to go in with my Curls Goddess Curls Botanical Jelly. And I do have a review on this one, so if you wanna see that, definitely check that out. I will link that up above. But I'm just gonna go ahead and blaze through the styling process and we will come back at the end of it and see what we think of the overall process. dry now. I have not fluffed it out or anything like that yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. As always, I'm going to go in with my Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Finishing Oil Serum, and I'm just going to put a few pumps of this in my hand, and I'm just going to run this through my hair really quick. There wasn't much of a cast on this. If you have watched my previous video, you'll know that this gel doesn't really create a super heavy cast. 
but there is a little bit of one, so I want to make sure I get it all out before I fluff. All right, it feels good, so I'm going to go ahead and fluff it out here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So I want to go through the pros and the cons of this product. I think there are definitely some pros to this product. I got more volume than I typically do. Um, I'm not used to having as much distance out this way, so that is definitely a positive. When it says it has weightless hydration, it does actually mean it has weightless hydration. On that same note, my hair does feel very soft. It feels very moisturized and it feels very good to the touch. I don't feel a lot of heavy product on it. It just feels very good. Um, another pro of this product is it is a drugstore product. It is something you can pick up at a lot of different locations. I know I personally have seen it at both Target and King Supers. I think there are other locations you can pick this up as well, but those are just the ones that I'm aware of off the top of my head. In addition to that, it is not super expensive. Again, it depends on where you buy it. I actually bought mine off of Amazon, so that is another location you could buy it. And I will link all of the products I've used down in the description box below, so if you want to check these out, definitely do. But I want to say price range-wise, depending on where you buy it, it's anywhere from like 6 to $8. So it's not completely a ridiculous cost. It's pretty average for this kind of a product. Um, the cons... I feel like I kind of sacrificed definition for volume. Now, depending on the person, this might not necessarily be a bad thing. A lot of curly girls or just curly haired people in general tend to prefer volume over definition anyway. I kind of like my definition, especially because I struggle so much to get it anyway. I tend to go for definition before volume and then just try to go from there. So that one's kind of a middle ground depending on where you're at. I do feel like though that I have more frizz than normal and a lot more of these kind of scrap, scraggly pieces. Um, it didn't clump as well as I'm used to it clumping for the techniques that I use. Again, I follow the same exact routine that I always follow. The only difference being that I replaced the curl cream and I did not use a leave-in conditioner again. I just wanted to make sure that my uh, impressions of this product were just from this product. Um, in the future, I might try to mix this with a leave-in conditioner and see if that fixes some of these kind of scraggly hair pieces and some of the frizz. Um, it may just need a product paired with it to go that extra mile. I will say that this is not the first time I've tried this. I tried this product last week when I first received it in the mail because I ordered it from Amazon, like I said. And I got about the same results. I'll include a short little clip here that you can see what my hair turns out like after that one. I was not happy for the same reasons that I'm not super pleased this time around because I got the frizz, I got the lack of definition, the scraggly pieces out here. So this is not a one and done. This is not something that this is the first time I've tried it and I'm just being harsh on it. I did want to make sure that I got my best results out of this and that I gave it the fairest chance that I could. I wanted to give this product the best chance possible. I didn't feel it was fair to the brand or the company to put out a video on the first time I had tried it that was bashing the product. Um, and I'm not necessarily bashing this product either. I don't feel like this is an awful product. I just don't think it's the first one I would reach for. And also the wax in the product, that is another con. If you are someone who does not want to use wax in your products or you do not want to have to worry about constantly clarifying your hair in order to avoid buildup, this may not be the product for you. There are a lot of pros and there are a lot of cons. Um, it really just depends on you personally and what you're looking for in your products. I would not say that this is a bad product. This product still has a lot of good things about it. Like I said, I got more volume. I feel like it's very hydrated. So it's not a bad product. I think for me personally though, I would probably not buy this again. I would be more likely to reach for either the creme brulee that comes in this line or the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Cream. If you're looking for something with protein, 
the curl talk line does have that and i do actually had a review of that as well so check that out if you are looking for something without protein uh the curls creme brulee doesn't have any protein in it either so just different options for you to consider if you do want more of that volume as opposed to the definition give this a try i don't think this is a bad product it's just not for me it's just not for my hair and that's okay. Not every product is for every hair type or for every person. We all have different preferences. Like I said, I prefer my definition over volume, but a lot of people prefer volume over definition. <laughs> so let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have you tried this product before? Will you try this product in the future? What do you think? Am I being too hard on this product? Do you think my hair looks good? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you next time.